morning guys it is January 16th 2024 this one here I got a call from a guy he's uh, been playing burn attack there for a while as a homeowner and now I guess that the thing won't run he changed the, the transformer and all kinds of parts on it, you still can't get it to run. He says it runs for uh, 20 seconds and shuts off. But he says that he thinks it might might be all full of soot, so I'm not sure when I, until I get there what's happening with it. He wants me to go by there, I guess he watches my videos. He wants me to go by there and see if I can figure out what's going on with it. Sounds to me like it might be a CAD cell issue, or maybe the flame's not set right, or something, something's off. Can't run if it's all choked up. It's got to be, uh, it's got to be able to breathe and have proper draft over the fire, or you're gonna have issues. So I might have to brush it down. We'll see when I get there. No heat. Where'd you grow up, Steve? You're about my age. I grew up in, uh, how old are you? 61. Yeah, I'm 59. I grew up in Westport. They used to sell, they used to do chickens or something? Well, they had, the Bernies used to own, um, like, like See, five gas these. stations and stuff, right? The old me. But, uh, who is it? Uh, they weren't the chicken farmers? Mm, I don't think so. They have a big family, like Mike Bernie and stuff. He's a... Uh, Let's see if we're getting any oil out of this fucker first. Did you change the nozzle or anything like that? Yeah, the nozzle is only like, uh, let's say, a month old. Okay. But I don't even know, what had happened was that uh, this was the old nozzle here. So I don't even know, if, and I looked at this. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna see if we're getting any oil come out of there. Okay, so we're getting oil. Sounds like it's getting pump wine. It's not the greatest pressure coming out of that thing. Could be a uh, blocked pump uh, filter. Did you change the filter with the tank? I changed it at the tank. I never went into the pump filter. Could be uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that pump's fault. That pump filter's probably dirty. Yeah, after I called you, I was it like, could be. It's yeah. possible. Um, see how it's getting. A, I'd have to see what kind of flow we're getting out of the pump. I'll check that next. Flow would co get coming out of the pump. I could tell you if that filter's blocked by the flow coming out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what we'll get for oh, yeah. pressure here. Just for shits and giggles, I'm wondering what the pressure is. Up a little more to the straight. Yeah, right there. What are we at? 100? Yeah, we should I like to go higher than that. I like to jack up the pressure to 140 myself. Go 140 on the pressure. What kind of nozzle are you running? It's a, it was what size? This one. 110. Wow. Really? That's fucking yeah. And monster. then I looked at this. This 120. Well, I could put a smaller one in there now. I just raised yeah. the pressure up. The, the you don't want it, you know, it's way too big. Yep. It's way too big. And you got all this air pumping in here. See all this yeah. air? I saw that, yeah. That could be a reason why it's not running. Right. See what we're getting for a flow here. And I can tell you if the filter's dirty or not. All right, just by that. By our flow. You said you got a good filter at the tank? Yeah, I just put it in. All right. Yeah, we're getting a we're getting a good flow of oil here, so that's that's not an issue. That's not an issue. Because there was a lot of like goop on that filter that was in the uh, Yeah, it gets this bio slime, these flipping idiots, yeah, you know, changing changing shit. 
it's ruining all the oil tanks too. So that, let me check and see if we even get any spark out of this thing. Did you hook it up right? Yeah, it was a two line. I just took it apart and put the two lines just yeah, like we'll it see, was. We'll see. The only th Let's see if we're getting any spark. We'll see if we're getting any spark out of this thing. That a CAD cell is kind of dark. See how it's burnt? Yeah, I don't, that's why, uh, that was one of the things. That's probably, see how dark it is yeah. in there? Yeah, because that's that was probably one of the what it is. I it's fucking burnt. Yeah, yesterday I was thinking about it, but then I was like, you know what, I have to. I have to get somebody that I can have come have a boiler guy, you know? Yeah, see how dark that is? It's probably not sensing the light. A couple of things I gotta check is see if we get a spark here. Then I wanna change the nozzle. Oh, we got a spark. Whoa, it's got one of those queer clutch things in there. That might be what our issue is. Hear that clutch thing in there? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan of those. I usually tell them to take them out. Beckett tells you to take them out. Really? Yeah. I don't want them. As long as it's working and it's spinning, I'm not going to take it out. But uh, Yeah, your electrodes are way off. Look how high they are. Yeah. That's what your problem is trying to stop the oil and you're way out of whack here. Let's see if the head's even on there. Hmm, kind of a weird, weird feeling there. Yeah, that's in there. Yeah, that's a good size head. Well, what, what the problem is, I'll tell you what the problem is. We're gonna, we're gonna put a smaller nozzle in there because we already, we, we raised the pump pressure, right? right. And your electrodes are way off. They're way, way too high. That's why it's not starting. You said it does start and then shuts right off? Yeah. Yeah, it runs for about 20 seconds or so. Yeah, it's and probably it the cat cell then. It's cooked. We're going to change that. We'll put a different nozzle in it. We want it to work, right? What's that? And we want it to work, right? Yeah, absolutely. Watch the Ladukes. Bert Ladukes. Sound familiar. Who's the one that had the... the wow, that's the, loose. The junkyard. The thing was loose. Remember the auto uh, salvage yard way down there? Not really. On Highland Avenue? Yeah, all the way down towards the end. Oh, all, no, I'm, I was like in the middle. Oh, all right, yep. Is it Highland that has that bridge that goes over? Yeah, I was, bef I was before that. The main odds were, um, I think they were the chicken farmers, like. Yeah. Uh, they used to have, the, back in the day, the father had, like, chicken chicken farm yep. back there. His dogs used to chase me on my bicycle all the time because I had a paper route. Yep. And his yep. dogs used to chase me all the time. Yeah. So I used to trap animals. So I had traps. I caught them all in my fucking, I caught them all in the woods. I used to put, in the woods, I used to go in, um. Put traps out and catch like fox and raccoons yeah. and all kinds of different. I caught them fucking dogs that used to chase me all the time. Really? But I let them loose. I didn't yeah. kill them. And they never ch after that. They never chased really? me again. Oh, shit. Yeah, they used to chase me like they were gonna kill me. But I, I let them. I let them out of the traps. I didn't, you know. And they they never they never bothered me again. Is that funny? Yeah. No shit. Yeah, the dogs. No, they would never catch me on the bike. I was able to pedal past them. Yeah. But they were trying to get me. Yeah, and then after I let them loose out of the traps, they never they never bothered me again. They know I saved them. Yeah. Funny, huh? Yeah, no kidding. How do you pronounce your last name? Lava Monia. I don't think this was the issue, but we're gonna we'll you go to school? readjust. Where did you go to grade school? I went to Westport High School. So how about the, the elementary though? I went to the elementary and the the regular high school. They're still pretty way off. They're way off still. Yeah, St. George. You did you? Oh, you yeah. were a Catholic guy, yeah? Yeah. Sent to the Catholic school. They're way off. I don't know why they're.
Wow. I don't want to bend. I'll get a CAD cell and we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it without the CAD cell first and see if it does it. But most likely, it's the, it could be the CAD cell or the control. You know, it could be the, in the control. A lot of times I could just... They get they get black or smoky, you know, and we'll try this and see if it fires. I'm kind of taking your word for it. Yeah, oh, about it's lighting? Oh, yeah, it lights. It just lights, runs, and then it was shutting down. I'm like, That's better there now, see? I'm gonna, we'll have to cut the airflow down. You see, you got this big this big gap here. In the, it could be because of that clutch thing you got, too. It's not letting the air through. You hear it when it shuts off? It's yeah. got that clutch. Yeah. I mean, that could be our issue, too, is that clutch thing. Uh, seeing you're having issues with it, let's check that, all right? That clutch yeah. thing, because it's, it's not supposed to be. They, they tell you to take them out. Uh, I don't want to go and do something. You're calling me back. It's still a problem, right? <laughs> when I was watching one of your other videos, it was, uh, was kind of funny. I was telling my daughter. I said, yeah, I said, uh, after I talked to him, I said, but you know what? I'm like, oh, let me try to troubleshoot this, uh, see if I can figure it out, right? Because I've had some friends that are boiler, that were, that were boiler guys, you know? And, uh, Sometimes these motors don't spin over proper, yeah. and then that's an issue, too. Oh, yeah, so Freddie Lima, he's an inspector. Yeah, he state, works, he's a state inspector. He's the in state inspector now because he used to work for the city. He used to be a, the city uh, Fall River uh, inspector, you know, the plumbing inspector for the city of Fall River, and then he uh, ended up leaving there. And then he went to the state. So that's what he's doing right now. Which yeah, this fucking thing is a junk. Let's take that out. Let's put the regular thing in what belongs in there. They tell you that, that Beckett told you that when you see these things, take them out because they're problems. Really? Yeah. yeah, the only thing about Freddy going that way is going to be a pain. That traffic, I could never deal with that in my life. You know? Oh, yeah. Going to Boston all the time. Yeah. And he's always traveling, too, because he's got to go towards, like, UMass Amherst and everything, the jobs over there that are going on. Well, God bless him. He yeah. wants to do it, right? Yeah. All right. Get this thing out of here. Get it out of there without making a mess. There should be another screw there somewhere. Get a couple of screws loose. You always have your dog with you? I do, yeah. yeah. Take that out. And this clutch thing is definitely not good. See it? That's what's making that, that noise. Yep. Yeah. That will definitely run better without that in there. Let me get a coupling. Then we'll know we, we have a... Uh, this is an AFG. I might as well clean this while I got this out. So did you go to school for this, or? Yeah, I, I went to school to learn, but I learned most of it on out in the field. Yeah. As you as you do stuff and yeah. find problems and fix them, and then you learn. Yeah. Right. You learn the hard way. Oh, I don't know. That's how I learned to, <laughs> like, uh, working on cars. I've, I've never went to a garage. I've always learned on my own. But I've had friends that had garages, like Johnny had Johnny a four square garage a little bit. I still will do some, but the the deep stuff now, like we got one of the guys on the job, uh, uh, Jared Babcock. He has his own. Uh, Jerry Remy's used to be. So he, you you take it to him? Yeah, the, the, some of the stuff I'll bring to him, but ninety percent of the stuff I'll do on my own. Yeah, if you can do it, why yeah. not, right? Yeah. I don't mind doing it, but it's like, uh, you know what? You you know, you get older and it's like, man, I don't feel like getting on my back to go and take a transmission down anymore, you know? I mean, the new cars now, forget it. Yeah, it's all electronics. All right, so we're going to... 
I'm going to put a new coupling in there, a new CAD cell. We re we readjusted the pressure. We raised it. Yep. Put a smaller nozzle in there. And uh, you want to check that screen that goes into the... Uh... No, I don't need to because I, I I checked the oil flow coming out, right? Yeah. I had good oil flow. Yep. So let me get let me get a coupler mm -hmm. and a CAD cell, and then we'll, we'll cut the air band back and fire this, we'll fire it right up. Yep. All right, so I got a new motor to pump coupling. See, that one doesn't have the thing on it. Yep. It's straight. Gonna run a lot better without that other clutch. Do you know Ricky Cavallo? Who? Dependable degrees. Ricky who? Cavallo. What's he do? It, he's got his business is Dependable Degrees. He does HVAC. He does a lot of... Um, dependable Degrees? What the fuck are you talking about? That's what his name of his company is. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Dependable Degrees? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like... And when he does a lot of the big AC units on uh, businesses on the roofs. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. His father used to uh, have a sheet metal shop in Fall River. I mean, you could, you could do it, but I'd rather not. Yeah. Climb up on the roofs and. Go to but his feet. biggest thing is like with you, you're able to go like solo, you know. Yeah, I don't want. Uh, yeah, he can't even find help right now. Really? Yeah, it is. His father, Rick, was uh, had a sheet metal business, and uh, so little Ricky, uh, yeah, a, a lot of times the old man goes to help him to go put duck work and everything in, because nobody wants to work. Really? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, Beckett came out with a thing, and he said, take all them out when you see them, because they're, yes, yeah. they're no, it's no good. It's a clutch. You can hear that hear thing it click and yeah, shut clicking down and shutting it. off and huh? turning on and all that shit. All right, so we got the new coupler in there. That thing is just trash. We got the new CAD cell. You can see this one is clear. That one is burnt. gonna run a lot better now when we do all this stuff to it. Yeah. That's why I needed a good clean. So what do you It's not hitting. Could be pump line. It's possible. Let's see. Nothing's hitting, so let's fire it up. That up. Must have been something that was shut right down basically compared to where it was. It's not shutting off now. No. It would have shut down already. We had a lot of things going on here with this thing. Yeah. Chimney. Yeah, she's not all choked up, but you'd be getting her all out, you know? Yep. It's not looking bad right there. You know, like I said, the smaller nozzle's helping. I would have ran that big giant nozzle with all that flipping air you had. Wow. That's why it was all good. Well, just some, some little fine tuning, right? Yeah. It's gonna run so much better now. 
you're already going to get 80% whether you're working or not. It's like you're working for 20% on the dollar, you know? All right, new nozzle, for good oil flow, raised pump pressure, um, new motor to pump coupling, new CAD cell, and reset air band. She's running good. Cut that air band way back. That's what you want to run for a nozzle, a little 75. 